Allora. Hello. Hi, hi, welcome. Let's see who's coming today. Let's check. Ciao. Non vedo le immagini. Non vedo le facce. Che sta succedendo? Aspetta, forse ho fatto... Eccolo! Vediamo. Ciao! Ciao! Welcome! Allora, il corso è di solito in inglese. Va bene? Perché mm -hmm. a secondo di come si... Di chi si, di chi si connette. Ciao Nina, cucù. Allora, Ciao. che figo che di solito sono, cioè, siamo sempre lo stesso gruppo. E... Allora adesso mi sarò qua, mi, mi, mi distrarrò perché verrò, vedrò chi arriva. Allora, vediamo chi, chi arriva. Aspettiamo un attimo, magari... Che ne so. Uh, no, I'm, maybe I, I have to talk in, in English to, for the replay, for all the people who are coming. Let's see if there is different... Uh, people arriving. Uh, poi se siamo tutti italiani, eh, Nina, no, tu è francese. Italiana. No, no, sei italiana, ok. Eh, ma ti ho tatuato? No. No, noi, ti ho scritto stamattina, io sono italiana, vivo in Germania. Questa okay. è mia figlia, ti, spero che non vi dia fastidio, anche lei era incuriosa. Ah, sì, l'hai scritto stamattina, certo, beh, solo che le facce non corrispondono alle immagini di profilo. Cioè, se siamo tutti italiani possiamo parlare italiano, però mi sa che, ecco, la Chiara, eh, non ti vediamo, non... vediamo se Chiara pure la conosciamo o no, ma stanno arrivando Margot e Becu, quindi il contingente francese, French is coming, oh, expat French and French uh, are coming. Hi. Hello, Becu. We were talking about like if all the people who came were Italian, we must, we must, we would have come speak Italian. Um, okay, let's see, let's see who is coming. So, Beku and Margot are like uh, veterans of graphic journaling class. <laughs> because they come to the, the Patreon, do, from the Patreon, the club. And so, um, I don't know if you want to wait more. I would like to ask maybe if some of you want to say something or present themselves, but I don't want to put anybody in the spotlight. So like, if you want uh, or not, let's see if more people will arrive. Uh, maybe I will do a small introduction and I will also maybe post uh, the replay uh, of this video, if it's okay for everybody. I will post it maybe on Instagram or let's see. Ecco Chiara. And now, now, now I see you. Are you from Italia? Italiana? Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay, I guess that we are, let's see, I, uh, okay, so um, uh, maybe a small introduction if some more people will arrive or not, we will see. Uh, what we do often is we start with a small meditation and um, then we start drawing. Does everybody has uh, like a, a, a journal or paper, like a favorite notebook would be the best, not like on flying paper. Hey, sta arrivando anche daily period. Non ti vediamo però. Che forse ci sarà anche la tua amica. Ok. Ciao. Ciao. 
stavo cercando di capire video audio non mi partiva niente I guess eh. that uh, when I did um, when I started like when I scheduled the, this class I must have put like some option of no video and I now I remember oh ecco Carla ciao oh. So, uh, was I was, I was like, uh, il corso è in inglese perché ci abbiamo anche, uh, ok, perfetto. So, uh, we start, so everybody has a, like a favorite journal, like their favorite uh, notebook, favorite pen. Do you have water? Every, no, water just, just in case you, have, you are thirsty, but... Uh, So what we are going to do, what time is it? Because, uh, okay, uh, since we are going to start with the meditation, once all the people, like once we are in the meditation, if new people arrive, we, we wouldn't be able to greet them, to greet them, um, okay, so, Into the introduction, we start with the meditation, then uh, what we do is like um, start by drawing a self-portrait. Uh, everybody is here on Zoom. What you do is like you, you click on your face on, on the Zoom and you, you pin your face so it will like work like a mirror. Everybody like draw. Or is there someone of you who like never, never, never draw, like not even when they were like kid? Nobody, everybody draws e even. If you can like, if you can write like the number seven or the number four, you can draw. I don't know how to say like everybody can draw. Okay, let's welcome Mara. Ciao Mara. Ciao. Ciao. Eh, vieni dall'Italia? Sì, vieni sì. Dall'Italia. Ok. Vengo dall'Italia, ma sono in Portogallo, quindi. Ah, ok, perfetto. E il, il corso in, lo facciamo in inglese, così mh, anche chi viene dalla Francia, chi parla francese, lo può capire. Um, so we start meditation and then we start to draw. Um, If you like stop drawing when you were, I don't know, a kid, because like uh, what we say, uh, like often every, every kid draw and enjoy drawing and creating on paper. And then some of those kids keep drawing and some of those kids stop maybe because uh, somebody told them, wow, what? what uh, are you drawing? I can't uh, understand what's on the, on the paper. Maybe they, they receive some judgment or maybe at school. And so they, those kids, maybe teen, they convince themselves that they can't draw and they stopped. But the practicing of the graphic journal is like your own space. So like you can draw whatever uh, you want to draw and no if you choose not nobody will see those kind those drawings so nobody will come to you and say this is like uh, i can't understand what did you draw or this drawing is bad but uh, probably those kind of judgment will come from your own experience from your own like head and judgment um, because like it, the mind is what it do like uh, judging and analyzing and try to make sense of, of everything even things that doesn't need to make sense like drawing um, so if you start drawing and you feel like uh, it's unbearable. What we are going to do is like, I always will put always a timer. Um, so you know that you just need, need to go through this torture until the timer rings. 
So stick to it and try to trust what you see when you draw. And the more you draw, the more you will take pleasure of it. Uh, I'm distracted by the cat of Z Zeno <laughs> because uh, like I love your cat, like, uh, um, so like, uh, uh, let's, I will prepare only my, okay. Uh, so before starting, I guess that nobody will, nobody more <laughs> will come uh, uh, so we can start. <sighs> what we are going to do is you're going to take your journal, open it to the next uh, clean page, like to the the new newest page available, like the, the emptiest page available and put it in front of you. Uh, today we are going to, since like in France, we are in some kind of lockdown, lockdown. And uh, in Italy, I know that it depends by the region. I don't know how it is in Portugal. Anyway, those days like, uh, it can happen that, that we get uh, like eaten by the fear. And so today we are going to apply some um, graphic journaling tools that we always apply uh, when we do our Patreon class. And we are going to apply them like on owning our fears, okay? But before starting, so open your journal, keep it in front of you. And then we start with a small meditation. Do you have a question, Carla? No. <laughs> ah, no, I say because you, you, stavi così, no? The top, forse devi chiedere una cosa. <laughs> Scusa, because I see you like everybody like this, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, another thing before we start, if uh, you have a question, just unmute yourself with the Zoom and ask, uh, no problem, like, it's a, today we are a small group and I guess that everybody it's okay for other people to ask question and like it's a safe space and we are everybody in the same boat. And uh, you can also use the chat, but sometimes I don't see it because I don't see very well from, from far. And so sometimes some chat message got uh, missing. Okay, so now, Let's start by breathe out, like letting a little bit go and uh, sit up in a comfortable position, like close your eyes. So everybody stay with the eyes closed so nobody will see you. And then you can feel like sit tall through the spine like uh, an invisible rope is going up from the top of your head and pulling you up. And you can like relax the shoulder and left your arms and hands naturally falling where they fall. Like maybe they are on the thighs, on the knees, what we are going to do is that we are going to breathe in and breathe out a few times like basic um, breathing exercise. And each time you breathe in, you will feel your belly expand. And each time we are going to breathe out, you are going to draw the navel to the spine to, to empty the lungs. And every time you need to breathe in again, you will only need to like relax the belly and then push it outside to, to make the hair come inside. We are going to start to breathe in for time. And breathe out. Breathe in, relax the belly. And breathe out. Draw the navel to the spine and breathe in. Relax and expand the belly then and breathe out. 
Breathe in. And breathe out for the double of time. A time, three, four, five, six, seven. And breathe in. Breathe out. The golden navel to the spine. Again, breathe out. And breathe in. One more time, breathe out. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Okay, continue breathing and stop counting. Try to set on your own breathing rhythm. Try to breathe out long, a, a little bit longer than the breathe in. And if your thought gets get lost, if your mind wanders, you can always come back to the breathing. And what we are going to do is like, while we breathe, we draw the attention to the top of the head and then to the inside of the head. We, we feel our body from the inside and then we, we descend, we go down and we feel our face from the inside and from the outside, the skin, the hair and the neck. And we feel the neck from the inside. And we feel our shoulder from the inside. Breathe into, into each part of the body. And feel your skin, your clavicle. And feel the inside of your upper arm. The inside of the arm forearm and the inside of your hand the skin of your of your hand the skin of the forearm feel your elbow and the skin of the upper arm and feel your chest from the inside Feel the expanding energy from the heart and don't stop breathing and every time the mind wanders come back in the sensation of the body feel your stomach from the inside your belly the skin outside your belly your navel And breathe into your ribs and feel your like your butt on the on the chair or on the floor and feel your tights from the inside and the outside. Feel your knees. Feel the place where ends and legs meet like there is a heat. Feel your calves and your ankle and feet. And breathe but while stay all in your body. And every time your mind wanders, come back to the breathing. And if you have like words or image that come to your mind you can look at them and then they go away like you are on a train and there is like landscape going by and maybe while we are in this seated position and you feel your energy from the heart expanding and you feel your hands touching your thighs. 
and you feel the body going way over, way beyond your body, like your energy expanding. And maybe you want to call some guides, some body that you need to see for this class. Maybe you can see this person like coming through you. And maybe mentally you can ask your guide what the most you need to know. And you can take the time to write it down on your on your journal or not, or just make a mentally reminder. And maybe you can ask your guide to stay with you during the whole class. And every time you will feel maybe maybe anxious about drawing or about what we are about to, to journaling, maybe your guide can stay with you and support you. Take a few more breaths. And as soon as you feel, stay in this energy of presence like even when you are going to open your eyes like soon to start drawing your self-portrait, okay? Try to keep this presence in the body. Maybe you want to write down before starting drawing your self-portrait, you want to write down the message from your guide, you want to write down some intention for today. And then you're going to click on, on your face on Zoom and we are going to, to draw a self-portrait. If you didn't do it, it's okay. Let, just enjoy. And what you can do is like, um, I will put a timer, like three minutes. And we will take three minutes in which we won't stop uh, drawing. And in the meantime, we will know that in three minutes it will be over. So look at yourself and draw what you see. If you are stuck in the drawing, try to, to look. The more you look out of the paper, I don't know how to say, the more you look at your face, the more you will draw what you see and not what you know about you. So take the time to look and let's go three minutes. Okay. And every time you see, you see, you feel like your body clinging, like because it's difficult, because you are not used to it, or maybe because I don't know, you you feel like your body tied in. Remember the, the meditation we did and go in this place, breathe in this place to get like a tighten, and from the inside breathe, breathe in it. Okay, we are halfway through. This is just like, just is, this is a, a grounding exercise we do every time to start uh, 
the practice and it's a good way to recenter what we feel. Okay, oh. uh, so how is it going? Everybody's okay. Okay, I'm going to take my notes. My notes, okay. So um, today we are going to do like some simple exercise to simple structure we use for the graphic journaling and we are uh, we are going to work uh, around the emotion like uh, how do we process the emotion we we feel and i guess that those days maybe the emotion are like uh, all over the place um, maybe because of the i don't know maybe if, some of you spent the last three days uh, looking at the election result or like uh, the lockdown or the virus or the, the work that maybe some of you have to shut down their, their work and can't uh, uh, have uh, an income during this period. Those are like a lot of different feeling those days. So uh, let's recap uh, like the emotion. Let the, like we are not going to uh, work on processing all the emotion because like we can but when we are when we feel happy and fulfilled and in love and all this expensive emotion like su super cool and high energy maybe we don't give a fuck to graphic journal because like we like to go outside and enjoy and like ride the bike the, the problem is arrives when we have toxic emotion that maybe put us down and the, um, those emotion are like uh, uh, the fear and the anger and the hostility and guilt and shame, the humiliation and like the feeling of depression. Um, like, uh, for example, like fear is like the anticipation of a suffering that we will happen in the future. When we feel fear, like we are already living what we project, it will happen. And when we feel the anger is like maybe the, quite the opposite and like uh, we are remembering the pain of the past and then we get angry. Uh, for like the hostility often are like uh, the, we have um, a desire for vengeance or for retribution. It's like often it's like also like the ego moving us and um, guilt, shame, uh, maybe humiliation, humiliation too are like feelings that like the, it's like painful feelings that are um, often they are like sometimes we self inflict those those feelings to us but because maybe we receive like uh, uh, some kind of social indo indoctrination and so we feel shame or, or guilt uh, depending by the context 
and then less uh, toxic feeling. We have like depression, like not in the in the in the because it's not it's not sadness. It's like depression. It's like when it's the result of uh, like. Uh, the diminution, the depletion of, uh, of our energy uh, that happens when we are stuck under all this toxic uh, emotion, like our vibration get very low and uh, we can't fight it back. Um, even if like uh, there are some kind of feeling like fear, for example, it's like, uh, when we used to, to live in a, in a cave, I don't know what to say in English, like fear is quite useful because uh, it what make us like run away if uh, like, I don't know, a bear, bear doesn't attack, but a wolf, I don't know, run to us. It was keep us safe. Uh, and like the anger, it would give us like the, this, uh, this, this, uh, Hook. I don't know how to say this. This move to to fight back if if, if we are in danger. So like uh, all the feeling that we we may feel, we can't dismiss them. Like ah, I feel fear. Ah, fear is bad. Fear. I put it away because often fear like maybe is a message from ourselves to to keep us safe or to know. To, to realize, realize how it works, our uh, pattern of surviving. So what we are going to do in the graphic journal, what we do often in the graphic journal is, is that we go, we go see those feelings um, and going to see those feelings in the graphic journaling uh, prevent those toxic feeling to to build up in our body and get us sick and get us uh, not good in life <laughs> like uh, um, and how do we flash away because once we graphic like the effect of graphic journaling uh, what the, how, what does it happens like we see those feeling, but also like the fact that then we are able to tell our story, it make us take those negative feelings and flush it away. So we are going to do a graphic journaling exercise today. Um, so what we often do in the graphic journaling, uh, I'm going to do it, okay. What we do before starting the, the drawing, uh, we, we use some basic tool that uh, is like a rearrangement of the daily journal, like the comics, making comics by Linda Berry. And uh, we, we took this and we adapt it to our, to our practice, which is a, a very basic downward cross uh, like all the satanist uh, <laughs> like you can do like this on your page it will divide your page in four and also pray satan in the same time no i'm joking i'm joking and uh, on the and we are going to write so i don't know if you if you see it like a mirror red i don't know but uh like on this you draw this cross and then on the which is for me like uh, the left side. Uh, we are going to, to make a list on one side. And here also on the left, on the right side, we're going to make another list. And then we are going to keep those smaller one free for now. We are going to start with the first uh, on, the, on, the, um, uh, on the left side with the first list. Okay, we are going, you are going to write uh, like a, a, a title of this list. You're going to write what I felt. Um, and what we are going to do is like, you can then apply this to, we are going, maybe today we are going to apply this, this technique, this, uh, this list and this journaling 
maybe to the last to the past week, for example, but uh, then you, you can also choose to use the same uh, grid to go way back in your in your past. Anyway, for today, on this first list, we are going to take like three minutes to write down a list of all the things, uh, the things, all the emotion, the feeling you have felt in the past week. So you can have a, a toxic or uplifting emotion, like you can, you can write if you felt uh, fear, anger, hostility, guilt, shame, humiliation, depression, but could also be like survival, safety, love, uh, belongingness, self-esteem or uh, creativity, intuition, I don't know, can be a lot of moving things you, you felt. Uh, and then we are going to pick the, the toxic one, but like for now, you are going to make the memory flow and write down a list as a grocery shopping, you know, when you are like, hmm, what I'm going to eat tonight? And you do the shopping list to go to the supermarket. And sometimes you write down things that maybe you don't buy or maybe yes. So maybe when you write down oil and then you remember, ah, yes, but I need also Parmesan or I don't know. So let's take three minutes. Uh, on the first column, write down what you have felt in the past week. Let's go. Okay, you are halfway through and never stop like moving your pen, continue writing and maybe deeper emotion will come after, maybe sometimes we, or maybe not, but everybody has his own way. Okay, 15 seconds to go. Okay, so now what you're going to do is like, if you have different color, like try to reread uh, re your list, read your list, and pick up uh, those uh, emotions who, who are toxic, uh, like fear, anger, hostility, guilt, shame, humiliation, depression. 
And if you can, I hope you have different colors and I hope you, you didn't felt all those emotions in one week, but may, I, I, I did, <laughs> but uh, like, uh, can you uh, underline the words, uh, only the toxic emotion with different colors? Like give, uh, I don't know, fear, use a red, uh, and then you have uh, anger and then, try to underline those emotion, like just to highlight them. How do you say in English? It's like uh, just to highlight those feelings, to, to, to see them like very fast. But if you can do it with different color, one color for each emotion, it will be better for the next exercise. So like, um, and if you don't have it, it's okay. Just use maybe one at least one different color from the one you're using. I don't know if you're writing in black, pick up the red pen and highlight those, those feelings. Posso chiedere una cosa? Certo, vai. Que quali sono le emozioni tossiche? Allora, me? se hai provato uh, fear, paura, anger, mm. quindi rabbia, Ostili, uh, rabbia, ostilità, uh, aggressività, uh, anche uh, senso di colpa, mm. senso di vergogna o senso di umiliazione, sono per, per blocchi, uh, mm. like I translate, but we are like two blocks, like active toxic emotion, like uh, the anger, the hostility, the rage, and then we have the passive, I don't know how to say, the guilt, the shame and the humiliation. And also, è anche è un senso di depressione. Anche se depression, it's, it's like, it's, uh, I don't know how to translate it because like depression is like a, a clinical uh, sickness. So it's strange to say depression, but it's like the sensation of like when you, you are empty of all the life energy, which is pretty. <laughs> close to depression, ok? E quindi tutte, anche tutte le loro sfumature, sì, immagino. Tipo, fammi tipo un esempio, che magari di cose oh. che puoi avere. Per esempio, preoccupazione, che cos'è? Preoccupazione è paura, in un certo senso, quindi okay. sì, lo puoi mettere, sì, è come un sotto, un sotto insieme. In realtà, um, uh, the thing is like, like um, uh, ok, che sta succedendo? Ok, my... my went dark, okay, like Zeno said, worry, worry can be a toxic emotion, is, it's, it can be, it can go with fear, but not, not only can, worry can be a, a feeling on, of his own, uh, like uh, we, we did this in the graphic journal in class about the each chakra has his own uh, like shit uh, and like worry and, and fear can be two separate things. Però okay. si sì, puoi mettere preoccupazione. Poi se ce n'hai altre tipo? Tipo disperazione. Ok. Ansia, sì. ingiustizia, noia, sconforto, abbandono, scollegamento, gelo, sospensione. Cioè so, so, sono tutte negative. Tu, sono è tutta la tua lista di tutta la settimana? Eh, ce ne sono ancora. Ce ne sono ancora, bello. Yeah. Allora, se puoi, cerchiale con colori diversi magari per gruppi. Per esempio, in realtà poi... Uh, I'm sorry, I was speaking Italian. The thing is, uh, the, the, when you have the, all those despair feeling, often you can always trace the, the feeling back to one first... Uh, mm bigger okay. uh, sì. uh, bigger one and you may like maybe you can sit with it after like for each feeling you can try to trace it for the original feeling mm -hmm. but trace every every kind of feeling and uh, what we are going to do if you manage to have different color for each or maybe you can you can also try to pick up the three first, the top three of this emotion. Like maybe the top three is like, one is the one who came the more often, 
or maybe uh, one is like uh, uh, the one which which is more strong or uh, try to pick like three just for the sake of the exercise and then um, for each feeling you you can do this exercise you can take the time and, and do it uh, because what we are going to do in the next uh, in the next column column it's like uh, so here on the left you have the list and here you're going to draw like a very very basic uh, i show you like a very oops my pen doesn't you are going to to work to draw a very basic human shape it's not very like it's not even symmetrical it's okay or and even a face if you want i i put a smile but you're not just like uh, or only you can only also write like one big uh, human shape but you know just just the silhouette like so you can have a head a neck shoulder bust and then the four uh, uh, arty the four limbs i don't know how to say in english um and now what you are going to do is like uh, uh, we are going to to take uh, three minutes more to let's check the time okay we are going to take three minutes more to try maybe pick just three fi three feelings uh, maybe if some of you has fear in this uh, in this list maybe you can you can use you can pick put it in your top three and if you have like, uh, um, because like often, uh, yes, maybe we can work on, no, I don't know, everybody choose their own. I, I don't want to, um, anyway, put, pick your top three. And then uh, if you have these three different color, what you're going to do is like, start from number one, maybe you highlight i put the example of fear maybe you're not using fear but just to understand you highlighted the fear in red so now you breathe into your body you try to come back to the state of the the meditation we did at the beginning you know like feeling the body from the inside and you push it a little more since you're like you pick up the fear try to locate this fear in your body where did you felt this fear and um, use the color of the highlight just so for the sake of of the eye and uh, write in your uh, human in your human shape uh, color the part who felt the fear does it make sense okay because like the emotion are like often you you know we have the uh, we have a, a mix of a thought 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 a pensiero un pensé I can't pronounce the th uh, we have a mix of a thought and also a sensation in the body also often the emotion are these two and sometimes if we can't understand an emotion with the mind with the remembering we can use the body and locate it and it will help us to see it better i'm going in the dark like and i didn't okay, let's try to have more light like i still didn't replace the bulb of the light like the graphic journaling uh, fellows come <laughs> on you say remember last week i my my light exploded and now I still didn't replace it. So I'm not, I'm like in the dark, but I hope you will see me. So, okay. And also like, uh, don't overthink it, try to bring it to the body. And uh, if it's comfortable, try to bring the sensation into the body to see, okay, 
how does it look? And often, even if it's not comfortable, it's like uh, useful to go and check where this fear or this sensation or this negative emotion stays in our body. Sometimes can be like in the throat, sometimes we can feel it in the gut. Sometimes it's like a, a weight feeling like on a chest or sometimes it's like something getting tighter. And you can also use words like if you want to describe it, like put a note on the side of your of your of the body you paint and you are putting all the colors on it. It's your journal, so you have all the, the right. Maybe you can put a, a little arrows and say weight on the chest, or maybe you can say spiky dark uh, magma on my neck. I don't know. Okay, 50 seconds. And if you finish early, you can raise your hand, but I guess that everybody's. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, so now on our graphic journaling cross, uh, we have the list on, on a side. We, keep, we pick, at the, pick up uh, three winners of the of the emotion and we put them like we located them like we we try to make sense and to to see them and to describe them um so often what happened is like now you have maybe a more clear idea of like what you felt uh, this week maybe according to one situation i'm sorry that you can see me i don't know how to move or to no, it's okay uh, so what we are going to do next on the on the bottom square of the of the of our cross, what we are going to do is like we did the list, we pick up three to describe. Now we are picking up one, one of those feelings, like the winner of the of the shit <laughs> of the disagio. I don't know how to say it in. <laughs> in English. How do you say disagio in English? Discomfort, maybe, but it doesn't give, like the winner of the discomfort of this week is, and maybe you can write it down, and now what, you, what you're going to do is like, you're going to use the bottom left section of, of, your, of your grid to write down at the first in the first person like as a journal very shortly because as you can see you don't have a lot of a lot of space you are going to write down the happening around this feeling like uh, I, I was sad because my roommate uh, ate the last ice cream or I don't know something like this uh, try to to make it short but in a way make it like uh, Mm, direct. Uh, so 
um, maybe we are going to take uh, like, is it okay three minutes is, or is, is it, how do you feel? Yes. So bottom section on the left side, you have three minutes to, to write down at the first person the happening around this winner of the feeling. Okay, let's go. And I'm going to try to, to light another. Okay, maybe like this is better. First person, so you are like in the center of what you're telling. There is no filter. If you, no, okay, two minutes. Okay, halfway through. Even if I see that maybe some of you are already finished, but uh, Ah, è un cagnolino, cagnolone. Uh, bellissimo. Ok, 30 seconds to go. But I guess that maybe everybody is done or... Okay. I guess that everybody is done. Perfect. Just in time. Just in time, like right in time. So, uh, sorry. So what we are going to do is like, you're going to write down, maybe I will put like two minutes instead of three, even if it's, uh, I will keep like two, two minutes 30. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, so in the other section, the bottom section, you're going to write down the same thing you, you write down uh, in the first place, like the same uh, happening, but this time at the second person. So it's like you are outside of you describing what did you felt. Does it make sense? For example, before I said I was so sad because my roommate finished the last ice cream in the fridge. And now you're going to write, uh, you were so sad because the roommate finished the last ice cream in the fridge. Of course, maybe you, before you write down, because this ice cream was my favorite and I, did, I, I don't know. So you will do the same like, you were sad for this reason, for this reason, you did this, but you try to observe yourself, second person, like it's, you're very close and you are describing it and um, try to, to do these little sentences, the little translation with an open art, like uh, describing uh, uh, 
what you felt. Okay, let's go to minute and a half. I took off 30 seconds. But if I if the timing stops and you are still writing, it's it's okay. Okay, 50 seconds to go. And uh, <clears throat> while we, I see that some of you already finished. Is there is, if you want, you're not like in the obligation, like how, if, if does someone want to, to share, how does it feels to, to tell about a feeling like in the first person and how does it felt to, to tell it in the second person. Second singular person, I don't know if I did it. Well, I think you can take distance from the feeling you felt. Sorry, <laughs> okay, go. When you talk about your feeling at the second person, you yes. take you make distance from the feeling you had? Yes. And how does it feel? Like when you describe what you felt like it was not you, it was someone in front of you. Does it, does it felt, it's like a real question. Did, did you felt the me, the mem, the I same think, feeling? I, I think I can. Uh, it's easier to understand the feeling when you're watching it from outside. Okay. And uh, also you can watch the situation from above. So it's easier to understand. To understand. And like, uh, like, uh, did you felt, uh, or, uh, or if you want to answer or somebody, somebody else, uh, like, did you felt like, uh, for example, I don't know, what, what was the feeling? You I felt no. sorry. You felt sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, like sad, like uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Okay, sad. Sorry, like. Uh, I felt the same in the first and the second situation. I just it's easier to understand in the second situation, but I felt the same for both. Okay. Okay. And somebody else want to say something about the how what was the difference of feeling the feeling like? I would say the same. Like when I wrote it in the first person, I I felt like it hurt more, and okay. when I wrote it in the second person, it was like more objective. So it was out there, and it also can be solved easily. How to say? Okay. It's very interesting now, and also like, is it like sometimes it, it maybe it, um, it will depend also by the feeling. If it's a feeling that we don't want to feel uh, and we describe it from the outside, like in the second person, maybe we are obliged 
to to feel empathy for ourselves because uh, we are obliged to see it because we are describing it from the outside and so maybe sometimes it can be helpful to to de develop uh, like empathy it will depends by the feeling sometimes there are like toxic negative feeling that we can't express and so like we 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 this can can be helpful um, but also like yes we we take the distance so like it's a little bit easier uh i don't want to cut anybody if if yes go yes was um i was not expecting this but the the in the first one when i wrote about myself um i, I wrote about anxiety and in the first case um everything was really confused and there was a part of me really judging myself because I was not validating the emotion and I was judging myself because I was feeling that emotion. Mm. In the second case, uh, in second person, I was, it's like um, I kind of validated that emotion. And as you said, I started uh, feeling empathy with that emotion. Like, okay, in this situation, it's okay you felt like that. It's not uh, something that you have to hide or is wrong or anything. Of course, because like, of this is yes, this is so so true. I, I don't know how to say. It's like a, um, because often we have negative emotion or what we label at negative, and we want to go away from them because maybe they are too painful or maybe because they are not very accepted because we need to to thrive we need to be productive we need not to be um, weak and so it's more easy to feel the feelings and then judging ourselves for having the feeling so we have the feeling and then the guilt and then maybe the shame because we are guilty like it's it's a pile up of uh, discomfort uh, but when we describe it in the second person it's like uh, yes we can have the empathy and we can see it from the outside and and it's something you can try but the thing is like this is like basic graphic journaling um, stuff like listing what we felt you can use the same structure like for only some simple journaling, like what I did on holiday while I was in Japan, I don't know. I went there, I went there, I went there, and then you can describe what you see or what you hear. I use this grid just to uh, uh, a note, a reminder to then go to the drawing part, which is the fun part. When we draw about the feelings, the thing is like now we do the inventory, and then the healing process, I guess, happens when we, we tell a story because we release. And um, so what we are going to do is like, uh, we are going to turn the page or go to, to the next page if you are on the same side. But anyway, we are going to take the time to, to draw what happened. But before you start, like, you can also use word, word and drawing, like I say draw, but uh, you can use both, like um, you can write down short sentences and then draw something or do a little, like a bigger drawing and then words or it's, you follow what feels good. There is no way to do a good graphic journal it's your own space it's your own room so you go as you go as you wish so we did uh we tell it in the first person like we listed the emotion we look at the, the at the emotion like okay where does it felt and what does it have does it did happen <laughs> what did happen i, I get lost in the english uh, then we, we tell these things that happen in the second person to, 
take a little distance, but a small distance, like, like a lower distance in second person, we talk to ourselves directly. And now we turn the page and we are going to draw what happened at the third person. So like, we are totally out of the scene. We are just describing from above. And like doing this is like what will uh, make the distance, make like seeing things from above uh, help us to don't identify, identify with the feeling because often we suffer for this reason because we identify with the feeling and we are the victim of the feeling. We stay in this state in which the feelings give us armor on, on our head or something like this. So like by telling the things, even if you're telling something which is like heavy, which is like uh, maybe sad or I don't know, we are outside, like we are not identified, we are not the victim, we are not in the, in the magma of the feelings. And it, it's healing, uh, I hope. So we are going to take, let's, let's see, um, maybe five minutes. It's not very much like you will need probably at least 20 minutes to draw your graphic journal and also like it's the fun part, uh, but uh, I don't want the class to, 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 long, to stay, well, maybe we stay three hours drawing, but just like, so you just can feel how it feel and then you can come back every time uh, to this practice. Those are very basic tools and you can also, also mm -hmm. always go back. Okay, I'm going to take, uh, okay, five minutes. So you, you don't have to remember what to draw. This is like the cool part of this little grid. You don't have to go and find back in your memory, what do you want to draw? How did you felt? Because you, you already done all these steps. And doing this, we learn that we can escape a feeling like a negative feeling by cutting it out, but cutting it out like all together. And the only way you can do this, escape a negative feeling is like feeling it, the feeling like feeling the shit out of the feeling. <laughs> and then release it like uh, telling the story. Because if you only want to escape like a negative feeling because you don't want to feel it, uh, like I'm sad I'm going to drink a bottle of wine, for example, and it, that, which is like perfect, you can do this sometimes, but you will see that maybe sometimes this will get you not very good we can have the balance between wine and graphic journaling. <laughs>
carry 50 seconds <coughs> to go. Maybe you will need more time, but you can finish it um, later because I wanted to arrive to the last step, which is like, um, okay, we, we, we saw the, we listed the feelings, we saw it, like we color it, we tell the story in different like, uh, point of view uh, and we share it like at the end like a like a little storytelling in a third person or of our graphic journal and sometimes what I like to do to to put a hat on this on this practice is that you can like uh, uh, in some kind of releasing celebrating way you can cern, no cern, no, ça se dit pas, ça c'est français. You can uh, uh, circle this, this story by like maybe drawing or maybe building a nice frame uh, around uh, what you just, just draw, like to put it like stay it all together. So like when you have finished like drawing what you, what you said, you, you can take a time to, you know, to release the pressure. Like as we did at the beginning of the class, we go into what we call our groove or our flow, like by opening the session with a, with a self-portrait, which is just a way like, it's like when you do the sport and you do the, the, the warm up, is a way of going to your body and then drawing and, your self-portrait will put uh, will open the session at, at the end uh, since it often those going to see the feelings and everything are maybe some challenging things going up once you finish to tell the story you take a deep breath and maybe you move a little around and then you put some music and just enjoying some automatic drawing like building a frame around this drawing so maybe we can do it now. Everybody did finish their, their page. Maybe, maybe not, but you can maybe go back to it later. But uh, um, I don't know, or, uh, but we can just take this, this last moment to, to release and then uh, just draw the, the the frame all around, okay? I will put, uh, I see st still people who are drawing the page. Yes, maybe we will need some more time, but, um, or, or do you want some more time to finish the drawing all together? Maybe we can vote or... I can see. Okay, no, let's do this. Let's maybe we can close the session like with with drawing the the frame, and in in the meantime, like uh, staying in the breathing. Maybe if you have some question or some uh, things you want to share with the, with the others, you can. Um, we will put uh, okay. Up. Let's just take the time to to breathe in, and like stay on your page. You can just uh, if you don't know what to do, what you can do is always. What I do sometimes is like very simple, you know, frame can be, I don't know if I can draw like this way, but you know, you can do like just one line and then you do a leaf on the side and then you go up 
and the leaf on another side, and then you go up and the leaf on another side and try to, I can see it, <laughs> try to take the movement like, uh, and then you can go, you know, like this, not sure if I'm, can you see it? I have a, a drop of ink, oh. You know, it's like you, you want to find your own like repetitive movement. It can be like you go up and you go a spiral, you do a spiral. And then from the, from the top of the spiral, you do the same and you go up and you do a spiral. And then you go up and you do another spiral. You know, like this, or also you can do like, you go up with the line and you do a heart. And then from the middle up of the heart, you do another line and another heart. And then like this. Just uh, find your own repetitive uh, lines. As it can also be letters. You know, if you put one letter always the same, like only the, the letter E, for example, you do an E and then an E and then an E and then an E, and then an E, and then you, you, you have your, your pattern, your frame. It doesn't matter what you draw, it's, it has to be like repetitive, always the same shape, and you, you close all the four perimeter side. And then when you finish, maybe you want to take the time to say something or, or not. What I'm going to do is probably that I will uh, post this, uh, this video on my YouTube, which is my YouTube channel is, channel is very empty, is, is where I post the replay for the Patreon, but those videos are private or where I posted uh, from last, uh, from two weeks ago, the live we did for the presentation of the book. In one of these video, Carla is also on the video. And uh, so I will post it there so everybody can have access and uh, you can maybe go back to it uh, to, to see it. Or you can share with, with your friends or not. Or it's, it's there and it's, Ok, come va? Come sa va? Like, when we started the graphic journaling um, journey at the beginning of the first lockdown, we always like drew like cars and Batman and funny things. And now we, we draw trauma and fear and we cry and uh, I think it's <laughs> like uh, so everybody at the end is like mm, <laughs> I will never come again <laughs> but I guess it's it's very can be useful I don't know then if you want to send me your drawings I want to see them or also if you want uh, you can share them in the we have a, a not very active uh, Facebook group because nobody uses Facebook anymore, I guess. You know, it, it's like, <laughs> but there is this, this group uh, which is called, uh, it's called, uh, I don't remember, graphic, uh, atom de gra graphic journaling with Nico Balboa. Not very complicated. And it looks like this. Uh, no, it's impossible. Well, it's like called graphic journaling with Nikos Balboa. I guess that there is only one group. If you want, you can share it there. 
And there, there is also some image I put uh, about different like graphic journaling and autobiographical work uh, other artists do. And uh, we can connect there or, or on, if you are here, I, I guess that everybody's some of, on the Patreon and the other are on the Telegram. So you get the information there, but Telegram, I don't know how to make it like that people can answer the message. So it's like one way uh, and the Facebook group, at least we can exchange that. Uh, okay. There is, if you want to say something or uh, we say goodbye. Eh, io vorrei dire qualcosa, ma in inglese... Mi vai, vai. Ma se vuoi, guarda, a volte, se vuoi io poi lo posso tradurre. Ok. Tradurre, col mio inglese... <ride> in due qua. <ride> esatto. Eh, no, io volevo dire questa cosa. Beh, molto bello. Ehm, e... Cioè, ho riconosciuto l'emozione, perché è giorni che ci, ci filo dietro a cercare di capire il perché, insomma. E, e, ora no, non voglio fare un, una, come dire, una seduta personale, ma secondo me è mol, molto interessante questa cosa qui. E, I will translate no, it later sì. eh, for everybody, ok. Ok. Sì, sì, vai, vai. E, io ho un problema di, eh, come si dice, di, eh, di sconnetto da me. Eh, come si dice? Sì, di disconnessione, insomma. Sì. E, e mi rendo conto che in questo periodo questa cosa è, si è esasperata proprio, quindi non sono per nulla, come dire, in contatto. E, e infatti la cosa interessante è che io, la prima persona e la seconda persona, non ho provato nessun tipo di emozione. Cioè, boh, sì, ok, sto qua, sta male, boh. La terza persona è quella che mi ha commosso. Perché la terza persona, cioè... A me funziona ancora il canale dell'empatia, non mi funziona, cioè come dire, ho messo schermo perché ho completamente, mi sono dissociato mm. probabilmente per, per far fronte a questo periodo che, che, che è insopportabile emotivamente. E quindi insomma mi, mi, mi ha stupito questo. Ok, lo, lo traduco e poi, uh, so I translate because at the same time is Italian class uh, Margot Ebecu. Did you understand the Italian? Uh, the thing is like Zeno said that uh, it was uh, recognizing, uh, um, it, um, it was easy to recognize the feeling, but it wasn't easy to empathize it and to feel uh, like first and second person uh, journaling exercise it was difficult to, to feel something like, like uh, it was another external person who felt this feeling, but there were no connection, no emotion, emotional connection. And um, at the third person, like seeing from the above, uh, this uh, provoked uh, uh, moving uh, um, uh, an emotion like, uh, a connection with the emotions. And I, uh, I don't know, the thing is like, I guess that um, I can, so you respond in English? Col mio English yes, tanto yes. maccheronico va bene, sì. Yes, yes, yes. the, I guess that this, I don't know if somebody wants to tell something about this. Um, I guess that the graphic journaling practice will make the space between like the distance in which you can start feeling the feeling shorter and shorter until you integrate it and it will go faster and faster and i experienced it <laughs> experienced it uh, when i first started my graphic journal like in 2011 because like i tell and I felt nothing in my life. And then I put the, the things on the journal. And then when I 
in a moment reread this first year journal i was like this shit is sucks and like it's very sad and in the everyday life and i my heart is not enough open to to welcome the sadness of something or sadness or like the the pain mm -hmm. sometimes it's difficult just to sit and say this shit that happens to me sucks like just saying this sometimes it's so difficult but when you tell it what happened then then you read it and you read it as it wasn't you so maybe it will it more easy to empathize mm -hmm. because uh, i guess that uh, even if you can't open your heart to what you feel uh, to understand maybe if uh, your best friend come at your house for a coffee and they feel like sad uh, or i don't know maybe you are capable to hold the space for them uh, for, see, for, for, for them i am able i'm not so, able for myself now of course so like reading the third person create this like the third person they are allowed to feel the, the feeling. Maybe you are not, but it's okay. Like the, the more you do the graphic journal and the more you open the, the channel and it's always very like, it depends by the character, depends by the sensation. I know like for me, it's like uh, without the graphic journaling, uh, I, I, I can't understand what I live. Like now I'm doing this graphic journal thematic, like Patreons here knows it, uh, but uh, it's called sleeping in a binder, which is like all the transition ups and down and ups and down and cry and laugh. And it's like, uh, it's very new. And sometimes I can't, like last time when I was in Bologna, Antonia asked me, so how is it this last year after the, the book, uh, uh, the story of the book, like Play With Fire ends, how is it going? And I like, I don't know, still I don't, if I don't draw it, I can tell you maybe in, in a time, because sometimes it's too overwhelming. And the fact of maybe some other people use like just writing, they use like a best friend to use them as a mirror or therapy, I don't know, but there is not only one way, but the graphic journal is one way to, even if feelings are overwhelming in a moment, if you put them on paper, they stay there. And then in the calm of the, after the storm, you can see them and process them, I guess. Um, okay. May I share something? Yes, of course. I really want to thank you because I, am, I usually do writing, written journaling. And, um, but it's all in the first person. And through this, uh, this hour of exercise, I understood how much uh, I am afraid of validating some, some of my feelings, uh, especially anger. Uh, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's much easier to validate it when you see it outside as some other here, other people here were saying. So I guess uh, I will start exploring this, this way of journaling as well, because uh, uh, I can see it's, uh, it, it has a, a great potential for understanding myself better and validating those feelings that also from a cultural point of view, we are not allowed to feel or we are not validated to feel, legitimized to feel. Mm. So, of course. so thank you. I, it was, well, you're it welcome. Was you're welcome. Cool. Okay. Um, so, See, Nina, go. Um, so um, I just wanted to, to say thank you very much for this workshop. And then um, maybe, I, I don't know if it's interesting for you, but as we were doing in two person here and I could um, uh, just see my, ch um, my kid, how, how um, she was working with the translation I was <laughs> doing for her. And it was really impressive that it's working also with, uh, with children. So she was really by 
by the object and she could very good draw her um, emotion. So, mm. of course, and so thank like, you for that. <laughs> uh, thank you. And so it's so cool that you are doing it with your children because, like, it's maybe cu cultural. I don't know. It depends maybe from the education, but for where I come from, it's like, don't cry, stop crying, <laughs> you know, these kind of things like, Aah. so like then acknowledging uh, the, the feelings is like, no, it's a big deal. So yes, cool. Okay. Especially in a situation like this, because it's uh, this lockdown and this pandemic uh, world, it's not so easy for, for children, but. Yes, it's like, yeah. it's, it's stressing and it's like uh, we try we are like often we sorry like we we have the survival instinct so we thrive uh, we go by farine uh, floor and we do pizza at home in the lockdown everybody do bread and cakes and <laughs> i don't know and uh, it's okay because it's survival instinct but if we don't do the work with what we feel, like doing, feeling the feeling doesn't stop us then to live a happy life or like thriving. But if we thrive without processing the sadness, it's like building uh, a home on mud. Yeah. And, uh, but if we clean the mud before, then we can build. A more stable home. My metaphor is very, very <laughs> weird, but it's like, so yes, graphic journaling is, uh, yes, it's useful. Perfect. Okay. Ah, Sedsky, you are late. Uh, we have a, we have an, uh, I guess that Sedsky got, Sedsky, you got the timing uh, wrong. Uh, any, anyway, uh, I um, I say you goodbye. No, Carla would dire qualcosa? No, because sometimes I see you. <laughs> Ti vedo muovere. <laughs> Vuoi dire qualcosa? <laughs> okay, uh, and see you soon. I will send you the, the replay. I will post it maybe on the Telegram channel. Okay, bye bye. Grazie. Prego, ciao. Grazie ciao, mille. grazie. Grazie mille. Ciao. Um, ciao, grazie.